my dear students i welcome you all to yet another lecture on power quality problems and solutions <clears throat> in today's lecture uh, i mean today's today we are going to start module 3 of your syllabus i'll write here module module 3 your uh, your syllabus comprises of four modules out of which two we have already uh, covered we have finished two modules and today i am going to start third module module 3 and in this module we will be discussing two types of custom power devices one is the series compensator or series voltage compensator which is called dynamic voltage restorer dvr and another is a combination of series and shunt compensators which is also called unified power quality conditioner upqc so both these custom power devices will be covered in this module module number three so uh, in module three first of all we are going to discuss i'm going to discuss with you uh, series compensation series compensation or voltage compensation voltage compensation in uh, last two lectures we have been di uh, discussing the other type of custom power device which which was shunt compensator we have already discussed two types of shunt compensation techniques one was passive shunt compensation and another another active uh, shunt compensation in passive shunt compensation we used the passive circuit elements like inductors and capacitors for load compensation and when i say load compensation it means compensating for load unbalance and compensating for load uh, reactive power and then we also discussed active shunt compensation active shunt compensation is provided by means of uh, dstatcom and dstatcom provides load compensation in terms of uh, load unbalancing <coughs> compensation for load unbalancing um, reactive power compensation and also harmonics compensation harmonics compensation is not done by passive shunt compensation it is possible uh, with active shunt compensation using d statcom so having covered um, shunt compensation that is load shunt compensation is also called load compensation because what you are actually doing using a shunt compensator you are compensating the load you are compensating the load for unbalance you are compensating the load for reactive power making source power factor say unity and you are also compensating load for harmonics making line currents purely sinusoidal so shunt compensation is also called load compensation now once shunt compensation is done whether you do it by passive shunt compensators or active shunt compensator like d statcom now the question is how to do the series compensation when i say series com uh, compensation it means the compensator is not to be connected in shunt or in parallel with the load it has to be connected in series with the load and what for what purpose we use shunt compensation we use it for voltage compensation purposes okay let me tell you it is the responsibility of power systems uh, or uh, it is the responsibility responsibility of electric supply authorities to provide uh, high quality power to the customers when i say high quality power to the customers it means power at rated voltage and rated frequency and sinusoidal waveform the voltage and current waveform should be sinusoidal it is the responsibility of electric utility but from generation up to the distribution level uh, your, your voltage may not remain uh, at its rated value it may change it may sometimes increase may sometimes decrease sometimes there may be you know uh, fluctuations sometimes dips in the voltage and your voltage may get you know uh, polluted with harmonics just like you have current harmonics you, similarly in the voltage you can have voltage harmonics which will result in the distortion of the voltage which is available at point of common coupling to various types of loads now and similarly your load can be uh, your voltage can be unbalanced okay so you have to protect your load against all uh, these types of problems for that purpose you use series compensators or series compensation or what we call as 
voltage compensation i will write here voltage compensation by dvr dvr is the acronym for dynamic voltage restorer d for dynamic v for voltage or for restorer it's a custom power device we will discuss it in a minute's time so what i was saying that it is the responsibility of the electric utility to maintain the voltage at 100 plus minus 5 percent of its rated value of rated value you already provide the tolerance say plus minus five percent if the voltage which is uh, available at the distribution level to the customers is not exactly hundred percent you can make it hundred plus five percent or hundred minus five percent so that is the pre-specified value no problem but if the voltage is above this pre-specified value or below this pre-specified value then your equipment starts giving trouble to you and it starts maloperating one of the examples is the uh, you take induction motor in an induction motor the torque developed by motor is directly proportional to square of voltage and if motor is not getting the rated voltage if there is a large dip in the voltage the torque developed by induction motor decreases as square of voltage and this reduces the torque developing capability of the motor similarly you, i have already discussed with you that in industries we use adjustable speed drives okay which are basically variable frequency induction motor drives under low voltage conditions these drives trip okay they instantly trip so they result in industrial process industrial processes get stalled industrial processes come to a standstill stand still because when a drive trips the industrial the entire manufacturing process or industrial process stops and then to restart the process takes a lot of time and you waste the time you waste the raw material you may you waste the labor hours you waste the revenue you lose that's why voltage sags or voltage dips in america i have told you uh, every year voltage dips um, cost america cost U usa uh, millions of dollars every year because of this problem because whenever there is a voltage sag or voltage dip beyond the permissible limit the drive trips and as soon as that drive trips the in entire industrial or manufacturing process stops and there is wastage of raw material wastage of labor hours wastage and, and loss of revenue okay so therefore there is a need to regulate the voltage to compensate for the voltage against these voltage problems okay voltage dip or voltage uh, rise is not the only voltage related problem there are many other problems related to the voltage i will discuss them one by one later on so therefore you need to compensate for the voltage um, so what are the i will write here conventional methods of voltage compensation conventional methods of voltage compensation how do you conventionally compensate mm, the voltage whenever there are changes in the voltage you need to compensate for the voltage what are the conventional methods first is by using i mean when you are compensating the voltage say for example you want to re uh, regulate the voltage for regulation of the voltage the conventional techniques are using shunt capacitor this is one technique second is using series capacitor using series capacitor again you can regulate the voltage third is synchronous capacitor or what you call as synchronous condenser synchronous capacitor or synchronous condenser next is tap changing transformer tap changing transformer next conventional method is booster transformer booster transformer next method is static using static synchronous series capacitor or series compensator static synchronous series capacitor which is also called SSSC static series 
static synchronous series capacitor SSSC and last method is using dynamic voltage restorer which is our topic of discussion for three next three to four lectures dynamic voltage restorer which is also or DVR okay so there are about seven techniques by means of which you can do the voltage compensation out of these seven techniques first six techniques that's using shunt capacitor or series capacitor or synchronous capacitor or what we call a synchronous condenser or tap changing transformer or booster transformer or static synchronous series capacitor SSSC they are used at transmission level at transmission level many of you are studying flexible AC transmission systems fact scores and uh, I'm sure your teacher must have taught you some shunt compensation techniques like how to use SVC static wire compensator how to use statcom or in future lectures you may study tap changing transformer booster transformer and you may also study static synchronous series capacitor SSSC which is a series method of compensation shunt capacitor is a shunt method of compensation synchronous condenser is also a shunt method of shunt compensation using tap changing transformer booster transformer and so these six techniques shunt cap capacitor series capacitor synchronous capacitor or synchronous condenser tap changing transformer booster transformer and SSSC they are used at transmission levels but our course on power quality problems and solutions it's not about you know uh, transmission level it's not about the compensating the system at transmission level in power quality problems and problems and solutions the custom power devices or various types of series or shunt compensators we use at the distribution level so the only one device or equipment which is left out of this list that's equipment number seven dynamic voltage restorer dvr it's used at power distribution level i'm right at power distribution level the problem is that even if you use these uh, compensators at transmission level it is still not sure that at the distribution level at the consumer end you will get perfectly regulated voltage sinusoidal voltage voltage without sags without swells without unbalance without harmonics not possible at all okay you uh, using these devices at transmission level will compensate your transmission line and definitely your distribution system also will get improved but still uh, your distribution system may suffer from voltage related power quality problems that's why for addressing the uh, problems faced by the customer because the customer is not connected to the transmission system customer gets power from the distribution system so you have to address the power quality problems faced by the customer at the distribution level so therefore at the distribution level for series compensation we use only one device out of these seven devices that is dynamic voltage restorer dvr so we will discuss this dvr uh, in this lecture and some of the future lectures also okay uh, <clears throat> so um, what is a dynamic voltage restorer if i write dynamic voltage restorer dvr I will say it is a custom power device it is a series connected custom power device it is a series connected custom power device custom power device means CPD to protect sensitive or critical load when i say sensitive or critical loads it means voltage sensitive loads against voltage related power quality problems pq problems whereas your d statcom is also a custom power device but that's a shunt connected custom power device and that addresses current related power quality problems that's load 
related to power quality problems that compensates the load that makes the load you know line current balanced uh, sinusoidal in phase with voltage and all that and uh, you know uh, addresses the current related power quality problems but dvr is not a shunt connected custom power device it is a series connected custom power device series connected cpd and it protects your sensitive or critical load loads against voltage related power quality problems like voltage variations voltage harmonics voltage unbalance etc so therefore dvr addresses power, uh, voltage related power quality problems what are various types of voltage related power quality problems like voltage unbalance voltage sag sag means dip voltage dip voltage swell voltage flickering voltage harmonics these are various types of voltage related power quality problems which are to be against which your load sensitive or critical load has to be protected so that even if these problems are there in the voltage but your load is not getting this type these types of problems your load gets balanced and purely sinusoidal voltages at their rated amplitudes even if the source voltage has dips that sags or swells or it has unbalance or it has flickering or it has harmonics but ultimately the voltage available to your sensitive or critical load should be free from all these problems so that the voltage which is applied to your sensitive or critical load it is perfectly balanced three phase voltage it does not have any dips it does not have any swells it does not suffer from flickering and it is purely sinusoidal voltage that means it does not have harmonics also okay so whereas your d statcom which we have already studied in previous lectures it addresses current related power quality problems current or load related power quality problems what were those current or load related power quality problems like current unbalance or load unbalance load unbalance reactive power and harmonics in the current load current these current related power quality problems we have already seen how a d statcom addresses these current related power quality problems d statcom is a shunt connected cpd it addresses these current related power quality problems very elegantly so that you are uh, even if your load is unbalanced even if it is a non linear load okay but the line currents are you know uh, perfectly balanced and they are purely sinusoidal without any harmonics even though load has harmonics but line currents are harmonic free they are purely sinusoidal and they are in phase with their respective voltages so that you know supply power factor is unity we have seen how a d statcom results in load compensation it addresses the current related power quality problems on the other hand your dvr is a series connected cpd it's not a shunt connected cpd and it addresses voltage related power quality problems and what are the various voltage related power quality problems it addresses voltage unbalance voltage sag or voltage dip voltage swell voltage flickering and voltage harmonics that is the function of dynamic voltage restorer dvr okay now let us try to understand basic structure basic structure and operating principle of a dvr operating principle of dvr we have a dynamic voltage restorer it is a series connected custom power device let us try to understand what it looks like and what is uh, how it operates we'll try to understand its operating principle okay now uh, it looks like this uh, let us suppose we have a source source voltage is say vs as a function of t i mean the instantaneous value of source voltage this is the source bus supply bus here source voltage is vs 
then this is the feeder so a distributor feeder with resistance rs and reactance excess total impedance is zs which is rs plus j axis and the source current is ist then this is <clears throat> the voltage vtt this is the point of common coupling pcc at which the voltage is vtt and here what you are doing you are connecting a voltage source which whose voltage is vft okay vft f stands for filter this voltage source acts as a filter it injects a voltage in series with your load and this is your load bus where the voltage is vlt okay this is load bus and this is the load i'm showing single line diagram of your system distribution system and your distribution system is like this and this is the load current ilt and this ilt is same as source current ist because all these components or elements are in series okay vst here is supply voltage supply or source voltage voltage at the supply bus okay what is vtt it is voltage at point of common coupling at pcc point of common coupling is that point where your load and maybe some other loads are also connected many other loads what is a vft vft is the filter voltage or series can series injected voltage it's the voltage which is injected by this voltage source series injected voltage what is the function of this series injected voltage to compensate for the voltage variations like this voltage at the point of common coupling may suffer from sag dip or it may suffer from swell or unbalance or harmonics all those problems will be taken care of by this injected voltage vft so this basically represents a dynamic voltage restorer dvr dvr actually acts like a series connected voltage source it injects a voltage in series with the line with the load and what is that injected voltage vft and finally what is your load voltage vlt is your load bus voltage or you can say load voltage and what is ilt ilt is equal to ist it is load or source current because in this case source current or load current is same as source current because all components are connected in series so this is the you know simple schematic diagram of a dvr compensated or series compensated distribution system if this voltage you are not injecting it in series with the load then this will be your normal distribution system and then your load voltage will be same as voltage at point of common coupling and it will suffer it may suffer all types of voltage related power quality problems like dips swells flickering unbalance and harmonics but as soon as you are compensating for voltage using a series compensator like dvr dvr injects a voltage vft in series with load and it compensates for all types of voltage related power quality problems so your dvr here is represented by a voltage source and vft is the injected voltage series injected voltage by your dvr now the question sometimes arises since we have already studied a shunt compensator see your dvr here is a series compensator and previously we have already studied a shunt compensator d statcom which was used for load compensation for you know addressing current related power quality problems many researchers or many students may ask sir can't we use a d statcom for addressing voltage related power quality problems <clears throat> we have already studied how we can use d statcom for load compensation or for addressing current related power quality problems like current unbalance current harmonics and reactive power demand of the load can't a shunt compensator like <coughs> d statcom can't it be used for voltage compensation also let us try to find out that let me take a simple system this is my system the same system distribution system here source voltage is or supply bus voltage is vst and this is the feeder impedance 
आर एस जे एक्सेस सो टोटल फीटर इंपीडेंस इज जेड एस एंड सोर्स करंट इज से लेट्स कॉल दिस आई एस टी ओके एंड दिस इज माई लोड हेयर दिस इज लोड वोल्टेज बी एल टी एंड दिस इज द लोड दिस इज माई डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम इट मे बी अ थ्री फेज लोड बट आई एम शोइंग सिंगल लाइन डायग्राम ऑफ थ्री फेज लोड और इट मे बी अ सिंगल फेज लोड इट इज एन अनकम्पनसेटेड सिस्टम दिस इज दिस इज योर लोड करंट आई एल टी इट्स एन अनकम्पनसेटेड सिस्टम आई एम नॉट कम्पनसेटिंग इट विद अ डी वी आर विद सीरीज कम्पनसेशन लेट मी ट्राई टू कम्पनसेट इट बाई शंट कम्पनसेटर डी स्टैट कॉम दिस इज योअर डी स्टैट कॉम As you already know, DSTATCOM actually synthesizes a current source. It injects currents um, into the buses. It acts as a current source. It is basically a voltage source inverter. But when you operate this voltage source inverter in a particular fashion, it acts as a current source, and it injects a current. Let us call that current as I <coughs> I DSTAT DSTATCOM current. It injects the current. It is a Uh, it's a uh, you know shunt compensator whereas dvr is a series compensator dvr injects voltage in series but d statcom which is a shunt compensator it does not inject voltage it, it injects current i now let us suppose the source voltage vs is 1 per unit okay and let us assume the source impedance or feeder impedance is 0.1 per unit and let us assume the sag is let sag be 0.7 volt uh, sag be uh, 0.3 volt i mean let us suppose uh, the voltage which is uh, see source voltage we have taken as 1 per unit but let us suppose the load does not receive exactly 1 per per unit there is a sag in the voltage and how much sag how much dip in the voltage is there Point three per unit. It's not volt. It's per unit. So therefore, what is load voltage? It is one minus point three. It is only point seven per unit. So although your source voltage is one per unit, but load voltage is only point seven per unit. So there is a dip or there is a sag of point three per unit. Now I am connecting my shunt compensator D Statcom to compensate for this dip in the voltage, so that load voltage is same same as source voltage. What is desired? what is the objective objective is that load voltage vl <coughs> should be equal to source voltage it should be 1.0 per unit now this statcom injects the current and uh, you have seen in uh, some of the previous classes when it injects the currents those currents are not in phase with the uh, load voltage they are at 90 degrees with respect to load voltage that means if this is your load voltage vl your current load current may be like this or it may be like this i mean d stat com current i i d stat injected current it's at 90 degrees with respect to load so that uh, the current is at 90 degrees or in quadrature with the load voltage so that uh, uh, the power which is injected by d stat com is not active power it is reactive power only okay because when current injected by d stat com is at 90 degrees with respect to the voltage what type of power is this this is not active power this is reactive power in a reactive power the currents and voltages are in quadrature they are at 90 degrees with respect to each other so in this case also your d stat com will inject a current id stat which will be at 90 degrees to this load voltage so that means it will inject the reactive power but what type of uh, that means it will act as a capacitor okay actually what happens because of this feeder impedance uh, which is predominantly reactance there is the reactive power uh, loss across this inductor across this feeder inductance and because of that reactive power drop that reactive power causes the voltage drop across this so that your load voltage is not equal to source voltage there is a drop of 0.3 per unit and your load voltage becomes 1 minus 0.3 that is 0.7 per unit only so in order to compensate for this reactive voltage drop your d statcom should act as a capacitor it should inject reactive power but it should inject the capacitive reactive power 
okay so when it injects the reactive power its objective is to make load voltage same as equal to source voltage one per unit that means now you have to understand it that means if this is your load voltage vl okay let me draw the phasor diagram if this is <clears throat> the load voltage vl and this is the load current let us call this current as i or il we can call it il phase angle is phi across this resistance there is a resistive voltage drop this is the resistive voltage drop i into rs and then there is reactive voltage drop resistive voltage drop is in phase with the current and reactive voltage drop is j i into excess that's at 90 degrees with current you can see so therefore what is this voltage this voltage is vs so and this angle is delta so that means vs is more than vl or vl is less than vs actually your vs is vl plus irs plus ji axis or your vl is vs minus ji axis minus irs so therefore your vl is less than vs because of these drops now when you are using d statcom you are basically compensating for this reactive voltage drop here and the current injected should compensate for this drop so what should you do uh, now try to understand <clears throat> now um, when this d statcom injects the current id stat into the you know bus or into the system it results an equal equal and opposite voltage drop across this reactance let us consider only reactance uh, forget about resistance for the time being so this is vl and this is i and this is ji into excess so therefore this is your vs okay vs is greater than vl or vl is less than vs in order to compensate for this reactive voltage drop the d stat comp should inject a, a, a current which is leading the voltage by 90 degrees and which represents the reactive power injected into the line and so it acts as a capacitor and as a capacitor what it does that current causes a voltage drop across this impedance which is equal and opposite to the voltage drop in this reactor because we know if this is a reactive voltage drop i into excess what will be capacitive voltage drop that will be equal and opposite to this that will be minus j i x c and if the two drops are equal the net voltage drop is zero so therefore your d stat com has to inject a current which will cause an equal and opposite voltage drop across this impedance so that vs is exactly equal to vl if i take vs as the reference here in the phasor diagram if i take vs as the reference so this is i so this is this is ji into excess and this will be your vl that means agar ye aapka vs hai ya aapka vl hai so what will d stat com do it will inject a current which will cause a voltage drop across this but that voltage drop will be equal and opposite to this voltage drop so is ka matlab agar ye j i axis is direction mein this is the voltage drop minus j i d stat into excess see which current your d stat com is injecting id stat which is a capacitive current okay and that will cause a voltage drop id stat j into id stat j id stat into excess which will be equal, which will cause a voltage drop across this reactance which is equal and opposite to this reactive voltage drop to ye voltage drop is voltage drop ko cancel karega aur aapki vl jo hai your vl will be same as vs that means agar ye aapka vs hai ye aap ye this will be equal to vl itself because these two voltage drops will cancel out each other the d stat com voltage drop is equal and opposite to the reactive voltage drop which is the voltage drop across this feeder reactance and this voltage drop will cancel this voltage drop and it will rotate this voltage vector like this 
and your load voltage will be same as source voltage okay so therefore it will regulate your load voltage that's what we want so therefore it will make load voltage equal to source voltage equal to 1.0 per unit because if your source voltage is 1.0 per unit your load voltage will also be 1.0 per unit so that means that gives us an idea that uh, d statcom can compensate uh, for voltage drops it can do the voltage compensation and it can make even if there is a voltage drop of 0.3 per unit here by injecting uh, current into the system it will nullify that voltage drop and it will make load voltage exactly equal to source voltage that's one per unit but it is very hard for d statcom to uh, do the voltage regulation to do the voltage compensation i will tell you why what is this feeder impedance feeder impedance is we have assumed just few moments that 0.1 per unit okay and how much is the voltage drop across this j i into xs is 0.3 per unit so that if your source voltage was 1.0 per unit your load voltage is <coughs> 1 minus 0.3 that is 0.7 per unit so in order to compensate this 0.3 per unit the current i d s has to cause a drop i d stat into excess which should be equal to minus 3 per unit so that this i d j i minus j i d stat excess is equal and opposite to this and when it compensates for this voltage drop your load voltage is same as source voltage 1 per unit now in order to cause a voltage drop of minus 0.3 per unit in this how much current it has to inject because voltage drop is this into this excess is given to you excess is equal to zs that is 0.1 per unit so therefore it has to inject a current of 3 per unit so id stat should be equal to 3 per unit because what is this voltage drop this is minus j id stat id stat is 3 into what is excess excess is only 0.1 so that becomes minus j 0.3 per unit so in order to cause a voltage drop equal and opposite to the actual voltage drop that is minus 0.3 per unit across the feeder impedance whose impedance is only 0.1 per unit the d statcom has to inject a current as i as 3 per unit because 3 into 0.1 is minus j 0.3 or say our key load voltage will be exactly same as source voltage the one per unit so therefore in order to regulate the voltage make load voltage same as source voltage equal to one per unit the d statcom injected current id stat should be very high three per unit three per unit is considered a very high value on the other hand if you don't use d statcom shunt compensator if you use series compensator like uh, dvr okay what is this voltage this is one per unit and how much is this voltage this voltage uh, 0.7 per unit so vs is equal to one per unit 1.0 per unit but your vl vl kahiye ya voltage at the point of common coupling vt kahiye it's only 0.7 per unit in order to make load voltage exactly equal to source voltage so to make load voltage equal to source voltage equal to 1.0 per unit this injected voltage should be how much see how much is vt voltage at point of common coupling 0.7 so how much is missing voltage 0.3 volts therefore injected voltage should be 0.3 volts so that load voltage is this it is this voltage plus this voltage what is the voltage at point of common coupling 0.7 plus and how much is the injected voltage 0.3 so that becomes 1.0 per unit and it, it becomes same as source voltage so therefore to make load voltage same as source voltage that's one per unit using dvr series compensator the injector it has to inject a voltage of only 0.3 per unit it's not volt it is per unit whereas if you try to make load voltage equal to source voltage with the help of d statcom then d statcom has to inject a current of a value 3 per unit okay it's very high at uh, 10 times this value here the dvr has to inject a voltage of only 0 0.3 per unit but d statcom has to inject a current of 3 per unit 10 times this so therefore since d statcom has to inject a very large current to regulate the load voltage 
So the rating, power rating of this DSTATCOM will be very high. On the other hand, if you do the load compensation or load voltage regulation by series compensator, that is DVR, you need to inject a voltage of only 0.3 per unit, not 3 per unit. So 0.3 per unit is a small value. So therefore the rating of the DVR will be very small. So that is why we don't, although this voltage regulation can be done by uh, shunt con connected um, com compensator like DSTATCOM also, but it will be the rating of the DSTATCOM will be very high. It will be very hard for DSTATCOM to regulate the load voltage. On the other hand, if the voltage compensation is done by DVR, the injected voltage and hence the rating of DVR will be very small as compared to DSTATCOM and it will be very easy to do the vo voltage regulation. So therefore, instead of using DSTATCOM, that is shunt connected compensator for voltage regulation or voltage compensation, we always prefer a series compensator that is DVR for voltage compensation. Okay, so this is the um, diagram um, and uh, what is this? This is the injected voltage. Uh, this injected voltage is, this is the voltage actually injected by DVR. This is for, uh, let us say, single phase system. For three phase system, it will be like this. Let me show for three phase system also. Let me first of all draw the circuit diagram. This is the supply neutral, this is load neutral, this is load say ZA, load impedance ZA, load in impedance ZB, load impedance ZC. This is VSA, source voltage or supply bus voltage VSA, this is VSB, VSC. this is three phase system. This is RS, J axis, RS, J axis, same feeder impedance in all the three lines, all the three phases. This is the voltage at point of common coupling VTA. This is VTB, this is VTC. This is the injected voltage by series compensator, or DVR, VFA. This is VFB and this is VFC. And this is finally the load voltage of the three phases, VLA, VLB, VLC. So you can see in all the three phases you have injected voltages. These injected voltages will be at 120 degrees with respect to each other. And they will compensate for voltage related power quality problems okay now how to synthesize this voltage source because you know in case of um, you know um, in case of load compensation you know you were using a current if you remember we were using a current source and uh, if you remember we were using three phase current sources which were injecting currents IFA filter currents IFA IFB and IFC across the lines these were the lines like this we have studied it and these three current sources were synthesized by a voltage source inverter which was called dstatcom if you remember this was the schematic diagram for dstatcom so inverter voltage source inverter and this is ifa it acts it synthesizes these current sources it injects the current filter currents or compensator currents IFA, IAB and IFC. Similarly, in this case now we don't have a series shunt compensator, we have a series compensator. And here this shunt compensator DSTATCOM, it was synthesizing these current sources. It was acting as a current source injecting three filter currents into the system. Now the same voltage source inverter can be used to synthesize the voltage here in uh, load by load compensation or current addressing current related power quality problems as a shunt compensator uh, this voltage source inverter was synthesizing current sources and it was nothing but dstatcom but to synthesize the voltage voltage source same uh, you know voltage source inverter we will use but we will use voltage source inverter not to synthesize current sources but to synthesize voltage sources how to do that let me show it schematically it is like this 
this is source voltage Vs, this is RS, JXS, over A voltage at point of common coupling A VT, this is the point of common coupling and this is how your DVR looks like. This is your injected voltage through injection transformer VF or ye aapki load bus voltage hai VL or ye aapka load hai hai. This is your load. This is the schematic diagram of DVR or ye aapka voltage source inverter hai which acts as a DVR. This is same voltage source inverter which we had used as DSTATCOM. But as DSTATCOM, this voltage source inverter synthesizes the currents, filter currents, IFA, IFB, IFC, injects the currents, IFA, IFB, IFC. But as a DVR, now this is this is same voltage source inverter, but it is acting as a series compensator, DVR. Here it is acting as a shunt compensator. And as shunt compensator, it is synthesizing the three current sources, IFA, IFB, IFC. But as DVR, it has to synthesize the voltage source, V voltage, VF. So the injected voltage is Vf. What is this transformer called? It's called interfacing transformer. Interfacing or injection transformer. Injection transformer. Because you cannot directly inject the voltages. You have to inject it through a transformer. This is the primary winding of transformer. This is the secondary winding of transformer. And this is the voltage injected by. Well, what does this DVR do? It's the voltage source inverter. It's DC. On the D, is DC on the DC side you have a capacitor or you may have an energy source DC energy source or DC storage like capacitor connected and on the AC side you have you have three lines which inject uh, which are connected through you know this interface tra interfacing transformer or injection transformer to inject the voltage in series with the line so this VF is same as this so this voltage source is synthesized by synthesized by this voltage source inverter Whereas in the D, as D statcom, it was in synthesizing three filter currents, and as D, as DVR, the same voltage source inverter is synthesizing the voltage source, and it is injecting the voltage VF in series with the load, and compensating for load related, uh, compensating for voltage related power quality problems, compensating for uh, making the voltage compensation. Okay, so for <coughs> Three-phase DVR will look like this. A three-phase DVR will look like this. Let me show you. This is load impedance ZA. Let me first of all complete the circuit diagram. This is load impedance ZB. Load impedance ZC. This is load neutral, this is supply neutral. This is VSA, this is VSB, this is VSC. And these are the load voltages VLA, VLB, VLC. And these are the load currents ILA, ILB, ILC, which are same as source currents and what are source currents isa isb and isc these are feeder impedances rs j axis rs j axis same in all the three phases three lines now this is your voltage source inverter let me draw the power circuit diagram of your dvr let me complete the diagram first, then I will explain. This is the DC bus, DC bus capacitor CDC with DC bus voltage VDC. It, this is your DVR comprising of three 
single phase voltage source inverters connected like this this is the voltage source inverter and this is your injection transformer for example here secondary and this is the primary winding of injection transformer this is how connections are made like this let me complete the diagram first then i will explain sorry not in first line first line is already compensated now this second line is like this and like this and then you have third line this is VFA injected voltage or filter voltage VFA this is the injected voltage VFB and this is the injected voltage B you have a single phase voltage source inverter here it injects voltage VFA in series with first line through this injection transformer. You have second single phase voltage source inverter here. It injects voltage VFB through this interfacing or injection transformer in series with this load ZB. And this is your third single phase voltage source inverter. It injects the voltage VFC in series with this line or this load. And the three single phase voltage source inverters have a common DC bus. So this voltage this voltage and this voltage, they are 120 degrees phase displaced with respect to each other. That is, your control algorithm will do that. It will make the three injected voltages VFA, VFB and VFC at 120 degrees with respect to each other. So, this is basically a voltage source inverter, three phase voltage source inverter, comprising of three single phase voltage source inverters, injecting the series connected voltages or filter voltages VFA, VFB, VFC through the injection transformers like this. Okay, so this is one topology of DVR which comprises of which is a basically which is basically a three phase voltage source inverter but comprising of three single phase voltage source inverters and it comprises of a filter also. What is the function of this filter? I will explain in maybe in future lecture. This is R, L, R, C, C, C. Similarly, R, C, C. Okay. Another topology is that instead of um, these six single, uh, three single phase voltage source inverters, you have a normal three phase voltage source inverter. As you already know, your three phase voltage source inverter is like this. It comprises of only three sw uh, six switches. Let me first of all draw the diagram. <coughs> Then I will explain. This is another topology of a three phase DVR dynamic voltage restorer. This is DC bus, or you can have DC bus on this side. CDC, DC bus capacitance, VD. What, is, what does this D, uh, D, uh, inverter do? It converts this DC into AC. But that AC is in the form of voltage. This. 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 And then these points are connected together. They make common point. Okay. So. This is filter voltage or compensated voltage VFA. This is VFB. This is VFC. So here you use only this is a uh, this is also a DVR comprising of three phase voltage source inverter. Previously also I have shown you DVR, but that was comprising of three single phase voltage source inverters used as a three phase voltage source inverter. This is a normal three phase voltage source inverter used as a DVR. This is how it converts DC into AC. And then those that AC is not in the form of current, but that is in the form of voltage. Primary voltage, secondary voltage, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. And these secondary voltages are voltages injected in series with the loads. VFA, VFB, VFC. And this is how load compensation, uh, this uh, voltage compensation is done. Okay. Now uh, you can see that this DVR, what are the components of DVR? You can very clearly see from this diagram or from the previous diagram. Number one, it comprises of voltage source inverter. 
okay this is your voltage source inverter okay second is comprises of dc uh, dc bus capacitance or storage i mean if you use dc bus capacitor this is the dc bus or in some case you use a dc bus storage like battery here third is injection or interfacing transformer this is the third component of uh, dvr these are the injection transformers injection or interfacing transformer transformer and fourth is filter capacitances and resistances these are the filter capacitances so these are the main components of dvr so, uh, <clears throat> so how much voltage has to be injected in series with each load or each line and what type of topology of dvr you have to use and how to design these filter capacitances how to design the injection transformers it depends upon how much compensation you have to do okay so if you take this as a research problem you can design this dvr you can design the power rating reactive power rating of this voltage source inverter which is used as a dvr you can design the rating of these injection transformers you can design you can see how much should be the capacitance dc bus capacitance and what should be the value of these filter capacitors so this is the circuit diagram of a three phase dvr for load compensation now let me again draw your dvr simplified diagram simplify diagram of dvr for some calculations computations this is rs j axis and this is source current is this is source voltage vs this is voltage at point of common coupling this is uh, injected voltage vf this is load voltage vl and this is the load by kvl kirchhoff's voltage law start from here this is minus plus vs when you go from minus to plus minus plus this drop what is this drop this drop is is into zs because rs plus j axis is so uh, feeder impedance zs plus vt plus okay uh, plus okay sorry minus this voltage vf again you are going from negative to positive plus load voltage vl is equal to zero okay minus vs huh yes if you uh, uh, transfer this minus vs and minus vf to other side so you will get vs plus vf is equal to is r iszs plus vl okay so vs plus vf you will get as is zs plus what is load voltage load voltage is is into zl let us suppose load impedance is zl now let us denote this is by i because load current is same as source current let us denote it by i so vs plus vf is equal to i you can take common you'll get zs plus zl from this you can find current i which is equal to Vs plus Vf by Zs plus Zl. Call this equation as equation 1. Now again you have this equation with you. Uh, Vs plus, I will retain this equation. I will retain this equation. Rest of the things I will <coughs> rub. <coughs> now I will write that as vs plus vf is equal to is zs plus what was this plus vl is zs or izs plus vl i we have already found from equation one so substitute the value of i from equation one into this equation so therefore from equation one what we get 
you get Vs plus Vf is equal to I is, this is Vs plus Vf, Vs plus Vf by Zs plus Zl plus Vl. From this you can find the load voltage. The idea is to get load voltage. So this load voltage is equal to Vs plus Vf you shift it to other side so this will be minus times Vs plus Vf divided by Zs plus Zl okay it is I into Zs into Zs is also there into Zs so Vl is equal to Vs into Zs is Vs Zs plus Vs into Zl is Vs Zl plus Vf into Zs is Vf Zs plus Vf into Zl is Vf Zl minus Vs into Zs minus Vf into Zs whole divided by Zs plus Zl I have taken Zs plus Zl as LCM so from this uh, see this is plus Vs Zs, this is minus Vs Zs, they will get cancelled, cancelled. This is Vf Zs, this is minus Vf Zs. So what you are left with? So therefore your load voltage will be equal to Vs Zl plus Vf Zl, okay, mm, by Zs plus Zl. Or finally you can write the mathematical expression for load voltage uh, ZL you can take common so you will get Vs plus Vf into ZL divided by Zs plus ZL so this is the final expression or I can write it load voltage is equal to Vs plus Vf divided by Zs plus ZL whole multiplied by this ZL. This is the final expression for load voltage. So with this mathematical background, let us try to solve a couple of numerical examples. Example number one, which will make things very much clear to you. This is the first example. It says, let us apply the conditions to maintain load voltage same as source voltage. The, what is desired here? Objective is to make load voltage same as source voltage that means if source voltage is one per unit you have to make load voltage also as one per unit discuss the feasibility of injected voltage in series with line to obtain the load voltage same as source voltage consider the following cases part a line resistance is negligible so your zs is equal to rs plus j excess so saying line resistance is negligible so you have to make rs equal to zero so zs equal to j excess and how much is this? This is J0.25 J0 per unit. Line reactance is J0.25 per unit. Okay. And load impedance is also given. It is 0 0.5 plus J0.25 per unit. Now you have to, <coughs> what you have to find? You have to first of all find VL without compensation. And also I L and you have to also find I L and you have to also find how much uh, injected how much voltage you have to inject to make load voltage same as source voltage and thereafter you have to find line current again then let's try to first of all let's try to solve this problem let's try to find I L that is load current what is load current load current is source voltage divided by see this is your system this is source voltage This is Zs without uh, DVR, I mean, and this is your load, load as an impedance of Zl. So what is load current equal to? It is this voltage, uh, source voltage, divided by this impedance plus this impedance. Load impedance plus feeder impedance, source voltage divided by, because these two are in series, divided by feeder impedance plus load impedance will give you source current 
which is same as load current. So it is Vs plus divided by Zs plus Zl. So IL is equal to, what is Vs? Vs is 1.0 per unit at an angle of 0 degree. It is given in the problem itself that source voltage is 1 per unit. What is Zs? Zs is J 0 0.25 per unit plus what is Zl load impedance? It is 0.5 plus J 0 0.25 per unit. So that means load current is 1 at an angle of 0 degree divided by 0 0.5 is the real part plus 0.25 plus 0.25 is J 0.5 per unit. So that gives load current 1 divided by 1 at an angle of 0 degree divided by uh, 0.5 plus J 0.5. If you calculate it, it will come out to be 1.0 minus J 1.0 per unit in rectangular coordinates and in polar coordinates it will be 1.4142 at an angle of minus 45 degree amps this is the line current this is the load current so load will drop this much of current so therefore what will be load voltage therefore what is load voltage once you know load current you can find load voltage vl vl is equal to load current into load impedance il into zl so load voltage is equal to IL is 1.4142 at an angle of minus 45 degrees into ZL. ZL kitna hai? Load impedance kitna hai? It is given in the problem. Kitni hai load impedance? How much is it given in the problem? 0.5 plus J 0.25. J 0.25 per unit. Rectangular. Me aur polar me ye ajata hai. 0 0.5590 at an angle of 26.56 degrees. So IL aapka ye hai multiplied by ZL. ZL is 0 0.5590 at an angle of 26.56 degrees. Ya aapki load voltage hai. So if you compute it, it will come out to be 0 0.7906 at an angle of minus 18.43 degrees per unit. So therefore, aapki source voltage kitni hai? It is 1.0 at an angle of 0 degree per unit. It is 1 per unit. Lekin aapki load voltage compensator ke bagar kitni banti hai? 0.79 per unit. So therefore, what is the, how much is the, therefore I can write here, load voltage is reduced by how much percent? By 21 percent. Because your source voltage is 1 per unit, but load voltage is 0.79 per unit. So that means there is a drop of 21 percent. Your load voltage is reduced by 21 percent. And this can be shown with the help of phasor diagrams like this. Let me draw the phasor diagram for you. This is the source voltage. 1.0 at an angle of 0 degree per unit. Okay? Or aap ki current ye hai, load current. Load current ka ye ya I ka ye. A load current lags behind the voltage uh, or source current lags behind. Load current is same as source current. It lags behind the voltage by 45 degrees. It is maybe thodi dher pahle aap ne ye nikala. It lags behind voltage because how much was your load current? Jo abhi aap ne thodi dher pahle nikala. It is same as source current. Is 1.4142 at an angle of minus 45 degrees. So current lags behind voltage by 45 degrees. Okay. Source resistance, feeder ki resistance uh, neglect karni hai aapko. So therefore source impedance is reactance only and that is given as J0.25 per unit. Uske across, jabab, when current flows through this source reactance, feeder reactance, I, it causes a voltage drop J I into excess, which will be at 90 degrees to this. So, this 90 degrees matlab, aise hoga. So, this will be J I into excess voltage drop. So, therefore, aapki load voltage kitni hogi. This will be your load voltage VL. And ye abhi thodi ter pahle hamne nikali, it is 0 0.7906 at an angle of minus 18.43 degree per unit. So, Angle, phase angle between Vs and Vl is delta equal to this much, minus 18.43 degrees. So you can see Vs is 1 per unit, but Vl is only 0.79 per unit. 
So there is a drop of 21%. Now what is desired? It is desired to make <coughs> objective is to make load voltage same as source voltage 1.0 per unit banana. Uske liye aapko DVR connect karna hai. And when you connect DVR, your circuit diagram becomes like this. This is source voltage. This is source mein khali reactance hai. This is I. Ye DVR aap connect karte hai. DVR injected voltage is VF. Or ye load voltage hai aapki. Or ye load hai. This is load. Okay. Now, same equation jo thodi der pahle abhi humne likhi VF plus Vs is equal to I into Rs plus J axis. Uh, Rs to hai nahi, isme khali axis hai. I into J axis plus Vl plus Vf. Vs plus Vf. Um, abhi thodi der pahle humne ye equation nikali is this. Okay. Now, as VL load voltage is same as source voltage, both are 1.0 per unit. So, VL is load voltage, VS is source voltage, they same as they cancel because VS minus VL will be zero. So, therefore, injected voltage, shunt compensator, series compensator that is DVR injected voltage will be I into J axis. Okay, it will be I into j axis and what is i i means load current it is again load voltage by load impedance so this is load voltage by load impedance into j axis okay okay um, now load voltage kitni hai aapki load voltage is same as source voltage is 1 per unit so i will write here 1.0 so it is 1.0, it is J access times VL by ZL. So that is J access kitni hai aapki 0.25. VL hai aapki 1.0 because VL is same as VS. This is desired by ZL. ZL thudi del pahle abhi hum ne nikali. How much is ZL? Uh, no, ZL is given load impedance 0.5 plus J 0.25. Okay. Isko jab aap solve karenge, uh, this is one at an angle of zero degree, isko jab aap solve karenge, ya aapko uh, injected voltage dega, voltage injected by DVR, and how much voltage DVR should inject, it should inject a voltage, aap isko jab aap solve karenge, 0.4472 at an angle of 63.4349 degrees per unit. So this should be the voltage injected by DVR, so that your load voltage is same as source voltage. So, जो इसमें drop हो रहा था, वो ये compensate कर रहा है. उस drop को compensate करने के लिए और load voltage को equal बनाने के लिए source voltage के one per unit, the DVR should inject a voltage of 0.4472 per unit. Okay? इसको अगर आप phase diagram से दिखाएं, तो phase diagram से हम इस तरह दिखा सकते हैं. This is Vs source voltage. Okay? और ये आपकी Current है I. Now, इसमें आप फिर से ये load current अगर आप निकालेंगे ना I, that is VL by ZL. अब आपकी load voltage कितनी है? आपकी load voltage one per unit है, one point zero divided by ZL. <coughs> ZL कितना है आपका? One point zero at zero degrees. ये है point five five nine zero at an angle of 26.56 degree ये थोड़ी देर पहले भी हमने निकाला so current will be load current will be और source current will be 1.7889 at an angle of minus 26.56 degree so current अब बढ़ गई obviously पिछली uh, without DVR current was less because load voltage was only 0.79 per unit now with DVR your load voltage is same as source voltage it has increased from 0.79 per unit to 1 per unit so current magnitude will be gaya. Or its phase angle hai ab, minus 26.56 degrees. Okay. So without DVR, this was causing a voltage drop of J into I, J I into excess, and that was resulting in load voltage VL less than source voltage. 
लेकिन डी क्या करेगा डी अब वोल्टेज इंजेक्ट कर रहा है वी एफ विच इज एट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज विद दिस करंट तो दैट मीन्स अगर अब इन टर्म्स ऑफ पावर देखेंगे डी वी आर इज ऑल्सो इंजेक्टिंग रिएक्टिव पावर इट्स नॉट इंजेक्टिंग एनी एक्टिव पावर क्योंकि डी वी आर जो वोल्टेज इंजेक्ट कर रहा है वी एफ दैट वी एफ इज इक्वल एट अपोजिट टू दिस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप क्योंकि इसको ये वोल्टेज ड्रॉप कैंसिल करना है जब भी ये वोल्टेज ड्रॉप कैंसिल हो जाएगी तभी आपका वी एल इक्वल टू वी एस बन जाएगा सो देर फोर द वोल्टेज इंजेक्टेड बाई डी वी आर दैट इज वी एफ शुड बी एट इट शुड बी इक्वल एंड अपोजिट टू दिस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप तो ये अगर आपका वी ये ना जे आई एक्सेस है तो वी एफ ये होना चाहिए इंजेक्टेड वोल्टेज जब वी एफ इज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट टू जे आई एक्सेस तो ये आपका वी एल वैक्टर जो है ये यहाँ आ जाता है सो यूर वी एल बिकम सेम एज वी एस वन पॉइंट जीरो पर यूनिट वन पर यूनिट बन जाता है ओके सो दिस इज द फेजर डायग्राम इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ डी वी आर इन एबसेंस ऑफ डी वी आर द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस फीडर रिएक्टेंस वॉज जे आई एक्सेस एंड यूर लोड वोल्टेज वॉज वी एल एंड इट वॉज लेस देन वी एस बट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ डी वी आर विच इज इंजेक्टिंग द वोल्टेज ऑफ वी एफ जो अभी हमने यहाँ कैलकुलेट की जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर सेवन टू पर यूनिट दिस इंजेक्टेड वोल्टेज कैंसल्स द रिएक्टिव वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस दिस जे आई एक्सेस ये कैंसिल करता है इट इज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट टू दिस सो दैट आपका ये वी एल वैक्टर जब ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा ये रोटेट हो जाएगा और ये यहाँ पहुंचेगा एंड यूर वी एल बिकम सेम एज वी एस वन पर यूनिट सो देर फोर यूर डी वी आर और सीरीज कॉम्पनसेटर शुड इंजेक्ट अ वोल्टेज ऑफ पॉइंट फोर फोर सेवन टू एट एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर थ्री डिग्री पर यूनिट टू मेक लोड वोल्टेज सेम एज सोर्स वोल्टेज ओके अब यहाँ पे एक क्वेश्चन उठता है द क्वेश्चन इज आपकी वी एस वैक्टर यह है वी एल बी ये है फॉर मेकिंग पावर टू फ्लो फ्रॉम सोर्स टू लोड देर शुड बी अ फेज एंगल बिटवीन सोर्स वोल्टेज एंड लोड वोल्टेज दैट मीन्स अगर यह आपकी सोर्स वोल्टेज है और ये लोड वोल्टेज है फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे शुड हैव अ फेज एंगल जिसको पावर एंगल भी कहते हैं डेल्टा डेल्टा इज कॉल्ड पावर एंगल इफ दिस पावर एंगल इज जीरो देन देर विल बी नो देन दैट मीन्स वी एल और वी एस वैक्टर एक ही लाइन में होंगे ओके तो उस केस में देर विल बी नो फ्लो ऑफ पावर टू मेक पावर टू फ्लो देर शुड बी अ फेज एंगल बिटवीन सोर्स वोल्टेज एंड लोड वोल्टेज अब यहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम यह है कि आपकी लोड वोल्टेज वेन डी वी आर इंजेक्ट ए वोल्टेज हेयर यूर लोड वोल्टेज बिकम्स सेम एज सोर्स वोल्टेज वन पर यूनिट तो ये इन फेज विद सोर्स वोल्टेज आ जाती है सो वट हैपन्स टू डेल्टा डेल्टा बिकम जीरो डज दैट मीन द सोर्स विल नॉट डिलीवर एनी पावर टू द लोड आंसर इज नो सोर्स विल स्टिल डिलीवर पावर टू द लोड क्योंकि अब आपकी इफेक्टिव वोल्टेज जो है That is not Vs. That is Vs plus Vs. So therefore, what is effective source voltage? Effective source voltage. Effective source voltage. अब आपकी Vs. Let us call that Vs dash. That becomes Vs plus Vf. In absence of dVr, your source voltage was Vs itself. Again, in presence of dVr, your effective source voltage is not Vs because this voltage is also aiding this voltage. So effective source voltage is Vs plus Vf. वी एस कितना है आपका वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री और वी एफ अभी थोड़ी देर पहले आपने निकाला कितना है वी एफ इज हाउ मच इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर सेवन टू एट एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर नाइन डिग्री पर यूनिट इन दोनों को जब आप एड करोगे इट्स अ फेजर सम इट इज नॉट द एलजेब्राइक सम आपको इफेक्टिव सोर्स वोल्टेज मिलेगी एंड दैट इफेक्टिव सोर्स वोल्टेज आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स फोर नाइन एट एन एंगल ऑफ एटीन पॉइंट एट डिग्रीज पर यूनिट तो ये आपकी इफेक्टिव सोर्स वोल्टेज बनती है विच इज वी एस प्लस वी एफ दैट मीन्स लोड वोल्टेज ये अगर आपकी लोड वोल्टेज ये है इट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो पर यूनिट इट इज सेम एज सोर्स वोल्टेज आपकी इफेक्टिव सोर्स वोल्टेज ये बन जाती है वी एस डैश इट इज हाउ मच वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स फोर नाइन पर यूनिट एंड इट इज लीडिंग this uh, load voltage by 18.8 degrees so since there is angle between the two this is delta so there is power flow from source to the load i hope that is clear to you now we have to uh, we have part b of this problem also 
इन द पार्ट बी इट इज सेड वेन लोड इज प्योरली रेजिस्टिव अब आपका लोड प्योरली रेजिस्टिव है ठीक है दिस इज अगेन यूर सोर्स वोल्टेज विच इज वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री पर यूनिट ये सोर्स इम्पीडेंस है आई मीन लाइन इम्पीडेंस आर एस प्लस जे एक्सेस ये सोर्स करंट है आई ये आपका डी वी आर ये डी वी आर इंजेक्टेड वोल्टेज है वी एफ और ये आपका लोड है लोड वोल्टेज इज वी एल एंड दिस इज लोड अब इट इज से लोड इज प्योरली रेजिस्टिव लोड में कोई इंडक्टेंस नहीं है इट हैज ओनली आर इन इट एंड सोर्स इम्पीडेंस फीडर इम्पीडेंस इज पॉइंट फोर फाइव प्लस जे पॉइंट टू फाइव पर इंट और लोड इम्पीडेंस जो है वो है पॉइंट फाइव पर यूनिट सो यूर लोड इम्पीडेंस इज आर एस ओनली इट डज नॉट है एनी रिएक्टेंस सो इट इज पॉइंट फाइव पर यूनिट नाव यू हैव टू अगेन कनेक्ट नाव डी वी आर एंड यू हैव टू सी हाउ मच यू नो लेट एस ट्राई टू एनालाइज इट सो अगेन वी कैन राइट दैट एज वी नो वी एस प्लस वी L V S plus V F is equal to I into R S plus J X S plus V L. अभी थोड़ी देर पहले equation हमने लिखी है, हम फिर से लिख रहे हैं. As load voltage should be same as source voltage, both both should be one point zero per unit. So V S minus V L zero हो जाएगा, ये cancel हो जाएगा. So you will get V F equal to I into R S plus J X S. Okay. So what is I? I is the load current. It is load voltage, or load voltage. Your key is one per unit, <coughs> is it? It is load voltage, or let us call load voltage as V L by load impedance. Load impedance, your key is only resistance. Load is only resistance. So I is V S by R S into R S plus J X S. Okay, so. therefore vf it is uh, what is this vl by rs into rs plus j excess so therefore vf injected voltage is equal to <clears throat> i will multiply this into this i will write rs into vl by rs this is this is VL by RL load resistance VL by RL plus J VL by RL excess J VL by RL J VL by R this is VL by RL into excess. Look at this is VL by RL into RS. I have written that plus VL by RL into J excess. That's what I am writing here. Okay, so this is the expression for injected voltage, and this injected voltage can be written like this: V F is equal to. Uh, let us call this uh, current. What is V L by R? This is I S. So this is I S into R S plus. What is V L by R S? This is J I S into X S. so it has two components it has a resistive voltage drop and a reactive voltage drop so therefore your injected voltage should be equal to this isrs plus j is excess ye main phase diagram se aise samjha sakta hu aapko let us suppose this is my vl load voltage and main chahta hu ki meri load voltage jo hai source voltage ke barabar ban jaye but suppose without uh, this dvr my load voltage is less than Vs. In order to make Vl equal to Vs, so this ये जो drop यहाँ हो रहा था, Is into Rs ये आपका drop है. Is into R, I into Rs ये drop जो है, यहाँ से यहाँ तक, I into Rs ये drop compensate करना है. आपका this drop has to be supplied by your series compensator. And in fact, अगर वोल्टेज ड्रॉप आई इंटू आर एस इस डायरेक्शन में इट शुड सप्लाई आई इंटू आर एस इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो दैट ये ड्रॉप खत्म हो जाए ओके एंड देन 
j i into x s this is j i into x s right so ye aapka v s banta hai ye aapki v s banti hai source voltage now you can see source voltage is greater than load voltage what is source voltage this is v l plus i r s plus j i x s in order to make v l equal to v s v l ko v s ke barabar ye drop bhi khatam karna hai ye drop bhi khatam karna hai that means your series compensator dvr has to supply two you know it has to take care of this voltage drop as well as this voltage drop in last example mein isne isko khali ji excess voltage drop cancel karni thi lekin is problem mein hota kya hai it has to cancel two voltage drops it has to cancel this resistive voltage drop as well as reactive voltage drop aur resistive voltage drop cancel karne ke liye it has to inject the current i which is in series with the voltage for reactive voltage drop cancel karne ke liye it injects the current the, uh, you know see this is i into rs hai na ye voltage drop hai it is in series with the current it is in phase sorry in phase with the current yani ye agar aapki vl hai ye i hai ye hai il aapki ya i kyunki aapka load purely resistive hai to i jo hai it will be in phase with the load voltage agar aapki load voltage hai to i hai तो ये जो आई आर एस ड्रॉप कंपनसेट करना है आपके कंपनसेटर को दिस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज इन सीरीज विद द करंट और ये जो रिएक्टिव वोल्टेज ड्रॉप है इट इज एट 90 डिग्रीज विद द करंट सो सिंस दिस रिएक्टिव वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज एट 90 डिग्रीज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द करंट सो इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द रिएक्टिव पावर इंजेक्शन बट ये जो ये रेजिस्टिव वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इसको कंपनसेट करना है आई इंटू आर एस इट इज इन फेज विद द करंट दैट मीन्स in in addition to the reactive power your compensator has to inject active power also agar ye active power inject nahi karega khali reactive power inject karega to ye khali ye voltage drop cancel karega lekin ye wala voltage drop cancel nahi hoga so your vs will be still greater than vl and you will never achieve vl equal to vs in order to achieve vl equal to vs it has to cancel this voltage drop as well as this voltage drop so that vl is same as vs to cancel reactive voltage drop reactive voltage drop is at 90 degrees with respect to current so that means it injects a reactive power so no problem but to cancel the resistive voltage drop i into rs this resistive voltage drop is in phase with the voltage that means it has to inject the active power component also or active power component ye tabhi inject karega jab dc bus pe energy storage hogi that means ye agar aapka dvr hai voltage source inverter इसमें हम डीसी बस कैपेसिटर लगा रहे थे ये कैपेसिटर से काम नहीं चलेगा यू हैव टू पुट सम एनर्जी स्टोरेज देयर लाइक बैटरी एनर्जी स्टोरेज सिस्टम आपको रखना है ओके क्योंकि इट विल इंजेक्ट द एक्टिव पावर ओनली व्हेन इट हैज अ स्टोरेज ऑन द डीसी बस इफ इट हैज ओनली कैपेसिटर इफ इफ इट हैज अ यू नो सोर्स डीसी सोर्स एनर्जी सोर्स एट द डीसी बस लाइक से बैटरी अगर कैपेसिटर है कैपेसिटर तो स्टोरेज है बट दैट कैपेसिटर कैन नॉट सप्लाई द एक्टिव पावर तो सप्लाई द एक्टिव पावर कैपेसिटर हैज टू बी रिप्लेस बाय अ सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी डीसी एनर्जी लाइक अ बैटरी और अ सुपर कैपेसिटर ओके सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद प्योरली रेजिस्टिव लोड अगर आपका लोड प्योरली रेजिस्टिव है सो द डी वी आर इन एडिशन टू रिएक्टिव पावर हैज टू इंजेक्ट अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ एक्टिव पावर ऑल्सो बट इवर इफ यूर लोड इज रिएक्टिव दैन यू हैव सीन इन पार्ट ए then it uh, injects only the act, uh, reactive power kyunki main wo diagram phase diagram fir se banaunga to make things clear to you this is your this load voltage and this is current i for rl load rl load <coughs> okay so uh, so um, what do, what does your uh, this is j into i into xs theek hai so ye voltage drop let us forget about this resistive part i into xs is reactive voltage drop. to cancel this reactive voltage drop your dvr has to inject a voltage vf which is equal and opposite to this voltage drop so that this cancels this aur aapki load voltage same ban jati hai as source voltage you can see now jo ye dvr 
वोल्टेज यहाँ इंजेक्ट करता है यू कैन सी दिस वोल्टेज इज एट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज विद द करंट ये अगर आपकी करंट है ये वी एफ है द फेज एंगल बिटवीन द टू इज नाइन्टी डिग्रीज दैट मीन्स डी वी आर इंजेक्टेड वोल्टेज इज एट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज विद द डी वी आर करंट एंड दैट मीन्स डी वी आर हैज टू इंजेक्ट ऑनली रिएक्टिव पावर और रिएक्टिव पावर इंजेक्ट करने के लिए इसे डी सी बस पे कोई एनर्जी सोर्स नहीं चाहिए एनर्जी स्टोरेज काफी है यानी कैपेसिटर काफी है लेकिन अगर आपका लोड प्योरली रेजिस्टिव है यूनिटी पावर फैक्टर पे है तो ये भी आपने देखा तो इन एडिशन टू रिएक्टिव पावर इट हैज टू सप्लाई स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ एक्टिव पावर ऑल्सो सो दिस इज हाउ डी वी आर वर्क डी वी आर इज अ सीरीज कम्पनसेटर इट इंजेक्ट द वोल्टेज इन सीरीज विद द लोड टू कम्पनसेट फॉर द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इन द फीडर और टू मेक लोड वोल्टेज सेम एज सोर्स वोल्टेज टू कम्पनसेट फॉर द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप In future, you will see how it compensates for voltage imbalance also, voltage harmonics also, voltage swells also. It can do all types of compensations, and we have seen that um, this uh, injected voltage or this voltage source can be synthesized by a voltage source inverter, and with the help of this voltage source inverter and injection transformer, we can inject voltage in series with the load. We can synthesize this voltage source. so the voltage source inverter along with the injection transformer which synthesizes this voltage source is nothing but dvr and this dvr comprises of dc bus and it comprises of ac or ac mein ye injection transformer ki wajah se voltage is inject karta hai series mein so that's why it's called series compensator and it comprises of a voltage source inverter and some filter elements and interfacing transformer or injection transformer and with the help of this example numerical problem we have uh, tried to understand its operation for compensating rl load it has to inject only reactive power and for compensating purely resistive load that's unity power factor load in addition to injection of reactive power a small amount of active power also needs to be injected more on it in next class inshallah so i wish all the best to all of you please go through this lecture and in case of any doubts any queries uh, please ask me your queries thank you